Hi everyone and welcome to Miss Estric Biology and in this video I'm going to be taking a deep dive into a strategy that is going to revolutionize your A-level revision and it is mind maps. So I'm going to explore with you how mind maps could be your secret weapon to get an A or an A star. You all know how much I encourage active recall as being the best revision strategy and mind maps are one of the superheroes of active recall. Now it's not just drawing lines, making colourful pictures and doodles, it is so much more than that. They are a dynamic tool that engages your brain, it's active recall and enhances your long-term memory, helping to make lots of really strong neural pathways, which in other words means you can remember that vast amount of A-level biology content and all of those key marking points. So let's start with the fact that they are visual masterpieces. Mind maps are a great way to have a roadmap of everything you need to know for a particular topic. So instead of having pages and pages of notes, you've got all of the key concepts and ideas in one visual place. So you can easily refer to it for future revision, as well as using this as a tool to summarize all of your notes onto one page to really test, can you remember everything and make those relevant links. So let's compare for a minute the traditional notes versus mind maps. Traditional notes can feel very comfortable and like a security blanket that you've got all of these notes to help you. But when we look at that compared to a mind map which has just as much of the fundamental key points but in one place, think about which is going to be easier to remember pages and pages of writing just linear writing versus a visual representation as a mind map all in one place and not only that it's not just about the remembering it's about seeing the connections between the topics to really help you with those application questions across the different topics particularly for paper three which is synoptic now linked to this idea of which you're going to remember more when creating mind maps the reason people include colors images or shapes is these visual representations are a way to really help you to remember certain key points so for example you might have a particular color which represents descriptions or it could be a particular color which represents all of the carbohydrates if you're doing biological molecules or it could be a particular shape which is representing the carbohydrates versus the biochemical tests for them. Whatever it might be, if you can add in either a color or shape coding system to represent different parts of your mind map, that will again add another layer to help you to remember all of that key information. Number two of why mind maps are going to supercharge your revision is they are an amazing active recall tool. Making a mind map isn't just passively writing notes from a video, writing notes from a book, or just listening in a lesson and writing notes. Instead, you're utilizing everything you might have learned in one of my YouTube videos or one of your lessons or from your book and showing how it connects together, but also testing from what you've listened to and learned. Do you understand what the key points are so you can condense and summarize onto one page as a mind map? App, picking out the key points each time and this kind of active recall testing your understanding testing can you remember the information to get on your mind map is the key to improving your long-term memory the more times you think about something so revise a particular topic the stronger the neural pathway gets in your brain and in other words you get a stronger long-term memory of that particular piece of information so let me show you this in action how I went about creating this particular mind map And the third reason why I absolutely love mind maps is it's a way to essentially create a one cheat sheet revision comprehensive overview of an entire topic. And the best part is you've got it all on one page and you haven't got lines and lines and lines of traditional notes that would have taken you hours and aren't very useful to help you to remember. So there you have it. That is exactly why mind maps are such an effective revision tool. And if you do want to get your hands on some mind maps that I've created for A-level biology to get an idea of how you could link all of this information or to have it ready done for you, then check out the link below.